Hi, my name is Cody and I'm the high school recruiter here at WSU Tech and we are currently at our National Center for Aviation Training, also known as NCAT, and we're going to take a tour, so come along with us. This is our composite program and inside our composite program we're teaching students how to work and build and repair pieces of aviation composite material. This program is going to start off with a composite manufacturing. It's going to be a one semester program. It's going to teach you how to measure with precision, pull and cut fabrics, layer them, and then go through the process of building them up so you can put them in these autoclaves that you see behind me and then get that rigid piece that we're looking for inside the aviation industry. We're going to use that inside the aviation manufacturing facilities to build an aircraft that is going to be light and also very, very strong. And this is going to benefit us so that we don't have to go back and repair the plane as often and we can also move more material around on that aircraft. We also have a composite repair program that's going to teach students how to identify flaws and, and problems with the composite piece, sand down to that flaw, and then fix it, repair it, and then build it back up. This is our coatings and paint program, and in the coatings and paint program, we're teaching students primarily how to paint aviation pieces for the aviation industry. So over on our downdraft tables, you'll learn how to sand, prep that surface for the paint, and then inside our paint booth, you'll learn how to apply that paint by paint gun and also by our robotic systems. This is our architectural design and engineering design lab. And inside this lab, what we're talking about in architectural design is learning how to build a blueprint for a commercial building or a residential home. You're gonna learn how to use programs like AutoCAD and Chief Architect to build blueprints, and then also to build 3D models so that you can show your customer exactly what that building or what that home is gonna look like. And we also have a program called engineering design. And engineering design is gonna teach students how to build blueprints for physical products that don't currently exist. So you're gonna be going in to solve a particular problem or maybe make an improvement on a, a particular object. And so students are gonna, again, use AutoCAD, use CATIA to build those blueprints and then take those back here to all of our 3D printers and then physically print something so that they have a tangible object that they can hold to check to make sure that it does the job that they want to do. This is our machining lab and inside our machining lab we have several different options for certificates or degrees that you can earn out of this particular program which you'll see behind us with our drill presses and our lathes. The manual machining program is gonna teach students how to utilize these machines to cut material and make the particular part using your hands. So these drill presses and these lathes, there's a one semester program that you can come in and take in manual machining to get trained up and able to go out and find a job as a manual machinist. This is our machining program and inside the machining program we have a short stop out with CNC operation and that's going to teach you how to input material into the CNC machine and how to operate it through your shift. It's going to be doing tool changes and fluid changes. Like I said, making sure that that machine's working properly through your shift. After that one semester program, we also have a one year technical certificate program that's going to teach you a little bit about the programming and coding of these machines as well as how to operate them. And then finally, we have a two year associate degree program that's going to teach you the manual machining as well as the CNC operation and CNC programming. This is our robotics program and our robotics program has a one-year technical certificate or a two-year associate degree program. Inside this program, we're gonna teach students about how to install, set up, and maintain robotic systems as well as how to operate them and run them throughout a shift. So we're kind of thinking about two tracks in this program, either a setup maintenance technician or an operator. Both of these are gonna kind of start with some of the same understandings. So you have to start with industrial automation, understanding how to hook up a conveyor belt system, how to use a logistics controller, a programmable control unit. After we understand those methods, then we're going to start working with the robotic systems, learning how to program them, how to set them up, and how to make sure that they're able to perform the same task every single time that they are asked. This is the sheet metal lab and inside the sheet metal lab we're teaching students how to build the exterior of an aircraft or how to apply aviation sheet metal. Now what we're going to do in this program is we're going to take two pieces of aviation sheet metal, we're going to attach it to the airframe of the airplane and the way that we're going to do that is by using a drill and a rivet gun to install some rivets. Now this process does not take very long to learn how to do one time but to install these rivets with the precision and accuracy that these mechanics have to do is going to take you six weeks to learn how to do during the day, eight weeks during the evening. This program is something that if you're looking for an entry level position into the aviation industry this is one of the fastest ways for you to get there. 
This is our welding lab, and inside our welding lab, we teach four different processes of welding. Shielded gas metal, shielded arc metal, oxyacetylene, and gas tungsten. This is a one-year technical certificate or a two-year associate degree program. You can get either one of those done in as little as two to four semesters. This program is going to start out with precision measurement, blueprint reading, metallurgy, and then we're going to get into learning those processes of welding. We're going to teach you how to apply each one of these processes in different manufacturing areas. This is our aviation maintenance technology program. We also refer to this as AMT or a and P. A and P stands for airframe and power plant. And these airframe and power plant mechanics are gonna learn how to work on aircraft that have already been built. So we're not building new aircraft, but rather servicing aircraft that are already out line. So this is gonna start out with a one year program in uh, airframe. That's gonna teach you how to work on everything that we can see from the outside of the aircraft. Then we're gonna move on to the inside of the aircraft and we're gonna start working on electrical systems and hydraulic systems. At the end of that airframe, you're going to have to sit for your FAA certification. And upon completion of that certification, then you can go out and work as an airframe mechanic in the industry. After your airframe certification, then we're gonna move over to the power plant side and we're gonna start working on reciprocating engines and turbine engines. And after you get done with those, then you can sit for your FAA certification and power plant. Now this is a five semester program. If you're gonna do the associate degree with airframe and power plant, at the end of that, you're able to go out and get a job inside the aviation industry. This is our non-destructive testing program, also known as NDT. And in the NDT lab, we teach six different testing methods that are gonna teach students how to identify if there is a flaw or a failure in a large piece of equipment or machinery. Students will be able to use this to go out and work as level two testers coming out of this program with their associate's degree that's gonna take four semesters to complete. This program also has a technical certificate that you can get done inside a year or two semesters. Our maintenance and reliability program here at WSU Tech has a one-year technical certificate or a two-year associate degree. Maintenance and reliability technicians are gonna learn how to fix and repair all of these different systems inside a manufacturing facility so that that manufacturing process is being utilized at the best abilities that are possible. This is our electronics lab and inside the electronics program, what we're teaching students how to do is how to work on all the instrumentation that is gonna be found inside the cockpit of an airplane. So we're gonna work on a lot of different radio systems and a lot of different systems that are going to report different things about location to that aircraft and about that aircraft. So these students have a one-year technical certificate or a two-year associate degree program that they can participate in. We also have some courses in drone manufacturing and building out drones and manufacturing drones, working on them, repairing them, things of that nature. We also have several drone cages, so you'll have an opportunity to practice and fly those after they are built. Thanks for touring NCAT with us. To view virtual tours of our other campuses, please visit our WCU Tech YouTube channel or visit wcutech.edu slash campuses.